For 13 days in a row, tornadoes have ripped across the Midwest and Great Plains. Forecasters warned that the weather conditions were ripe for twisters, but no one could say exactly where they would touch down. So why is it so hard to predict tornadoes? Good question. Here's Heather Brown and Mike Augustinak. So a very strong line of storms that's moving eastward. Meteorologists can tell us where twisters might form. You're seeing a lot of colors here. This but pinpointing detailed locations is still a challenge. We don't know that there's a tornado unless the radar tells us or somebody sees it. Right. Yep. Why is that? Because they're tiny. Only on the ground about four minutes, but it traveled roughly two miles. So these are tiny systems compared to how much space there is out there. Tornado warning times have improved. It was five minutes in the 80s to 14 minutes in 2010. They've come down slightly since then as the National Weather Service tries to reduce false alarms. The tornado warning continues until 745 for the extraordinarily complex physics at work here. Wind shear, thunderstorm, that tube of circulating air are extraordinarily dangerous to research. All of a sudden, it's like rapid fire machine gun hitting the side of the house. Scientists have tried putting trackers and vehicles into a tornado, and drone video have given them good data in recent years. But the bottom line is they're dangerous, and so they're hard to get next to. Mike says scientists could put tiny sensors everywhere. Nobody would want to pay for the amount of sensors. But what's more likely to come is smarter computer modeling. What the goal, though, is in the future mm -hmm is not to just say, hey, you 50 counties, there might be something that happens today. There are going to be these cells that develop late in the day that may cause tornadoes. But rather be able to say, at 2 p.m. later that day, there will be a tornado in Hennepin County, and then issue a warning on that at 7 a.m. Before the storm even starts? Before the skies are even cloudy is the goal. How far away are we from that? That's a great question. The goal is in the next five to 10 years, but mm -hmm. not sure if that's actually going to end up happening or not. Heather Brown. I know there are a lot of people dedicated to making it happen. WCCO 4 News.